Good morning everyone and welcome back. So today, it's all go. Dad's actually a eyeing a cow behind me. He's all done. It's not actually our start date. We don't start officially till tomorrow, but we're just we're just getting him nice and warm and, and nimble, ready for the start. We're having a bit of a draft up this morning. These cows here, these are from the older herd. They're all getting checked by the vet. Briar, she's coming out with Zoe later on. There's also another eight cows just in the paddock out there from the first herd, so I've kept them separate. I've only got two left to draft out too, and they're both in this row, one here and the fifth one back. And those ones can graze that calf paddock, but check it out, what an absolute pearler of a day. Awesome. I think there's about roughly 22 of them and they are all the Anistros cows so none of those have had a heat but they have calved for longer than 40 days I think I went. There's only 21, this was my list but I've scratched off three because they actually came on heat last night which is ideal. So some of these might come on heat over the next couple of weeks naturally and probably a lot of these would come on over the next sort of two, three, four, five weeks but the whole point of getting Briar out here is just to make sure she's going to scan them and make sure there's no underlying health issues because there potentially could be for some of these cows and we're going to treat them if there is. A couple of people when I did say I was going to do this in a few videos ago said well don't put replacement uh, or good straws into these cows, put beef ones because they're not the sort of cows you'd want to keep replacements from. I sort of, I, I agree somewhat in where they're coming from but I also disagree too because maybe they've had a little bit harder carving some of these, some of my cows out there have taken, or some of the cows in the herd have taken 60 days to cycle. They might, you know, they might have had a little bit of trouble. It's taken them a little bit longer. So I probably would put a replacement straw into these. I just think some of them are, are good cows, and it would be a shame not to. But I definitely get where you're coming from. There were a few cows that I left off this list too. They were just a little bit older. They weren't milking the best, and there were also a couple of young ones that were sort of similar. Also a couple of cows. So I don't want to check them because I'm not too worried if they, if they don't get in calf or if they get in calf later. Actually AI'd five cows today and we did three yesterday. They were just a couple of good cows that came in and I thought it would be a shame not to because if we didn't get them this time, the next time they're gonna cycle is in three weeks and if we get them then and they don't hold to that, we're not gonna be able to get them again because we only AI for four weeks. So by doing them this morning, if they didn't hold, we will be able to get them in the first three weeks again and and get a replacement or get a good chance of getting a replacement from them. And if they did hold, then that's awesome because early heifer calves are good too. They're actually a couple of my favourites, that so was pretty good timing. We also had some good news this morning. Our milk price has gone up, so the last couple of milk auctions we sell a lot of our our trade on the world market and we've got a couple of positive ones. They were looking negative for so long, we've just had a couple of positive ones and they've actually lifted our midpoint uh, for the price of milk that we get up. It's gone up 50 cents which is, is quite a bit. We're still, well the midpoint still a dollar less than what we got last year but it's definitely taken a little bit of the pressure off and hopefully it's not like too reactionary and <laughs> it's not going to come back down at some point but I thought it might have taken a couple more positive auctions to, to sort of move it, but hopefully, hopefully it sort of stays where it is and, and doesn't come down. If it went up, it'd be even better. But. The heifers are also getting their second shot of PG today. It's happening right now at 11. I was going to shoot down, but I don't really need to. It's a real quick job, so Merv's going to sort that out. Plus, I'm going down tomorrow to put scratches on. I'm going to weigh them as well. And then the following day, Dad is going to head down with me and we're going to AI them. We're probably going to do that for about five days. But I'll talk more about that in another video. It's quite a hard case. I've just seen that Portugal beat Fiji at the Rugby World Cup. It's their first ever win at a World Cup, which is awesome. Which is bad for you Australians, though, because that means you are heading home. You didn't make the quarterfinals. Fiji lost the bonus points. So kind of sucks. Kind of does suck. Australia's not going too good at the moment either. Look at these silly cows. Just standing in the race. So this hedge along here 
It's got quite a few holes in it and the cows can walk straight through it. I've also left the gate open down there so that if they do come through they can go back. There's a whole paddock of grass right there and they're just standing in the race. Unbelievable. Trying to look for Dad but I'm not sure where he is. I could ask him something but I thought I'd fill this up while I was passing by. And this is the bulls that we've used for the last two days mating. But what I've actually done, a little bit cheeky but not really, is I've actually four dated it to tomorrow's date. So all these cows that we've done in the last two days, I'm putting that we just did them on the tent. Reason being is that last year I tried at six semen like the week leading up to mating and I just did a, a couple of selected cows for about five days before the actual start. So I recorded them in the book on those days but then when we got our repro results it like pushed our mating date forward so all of our results were like a week back which just screwed sort of everything up because it wasn't a true representation uh, so this year I've just chucked them from the tent because that's that's what the reap road date will start ah oh, man look at that got a flat tire on the calf feeder bummer I've had a few of those this year I might just fill it up with air and see if it goes down again and then we can drop it off in town on the way through tomorrow I've been speaking to Bills about getting our maize in and seeing what sort of plan or time wise we can do that because it pretty much is ready to go now, it just hasn't got the base fit but if we direct drill it then it doesn't matter when we put the base fit on, we can drill it first which is probably what we are going to do. It's got soil tests have been taken which is, I, don't, I don't think we've heard back from them yet but first to be able to to be able to get the maize in I have got a couple of paddocks shut up for silage, this is one of them. This is the annual in here, you can see the, the strip sprayed lines through there and it's, it's not real heavy heavy, but it's heavy enough. We should get a few bales out of here. And then that just below there, that paddock is permanent grass. So that'll be a little bit thicker than this. But time to get it off. Nine, 10, 11, 12-ish. One of these ones might be all right. They're a little bit flimsy. And I don't really like these netting ones because the cows rub up against them, but might have to make do. Might work, it would work. Talking about the Rugby World Cup though, how good is Ireland versus the All Blacks going to be tomorrow morning? I think we'll be too busy to, to watch it, but it should be one heck of a game. I actually just checked out the TAB to see what they were paying, and Ireland's paying $1.80, they are the favourites, and the All Blacks are paying two bucks, so I might have a little cheeky flutter on the All Blacks, two bucks isn't too bad. Actually looks pretty good the only problem is you can't move these ones these hinges you can get one that's clamp around there which we might do and then that'll sort of just work and just hit that post back in somewhere there so we can so we can close or shut the gate against it or I'll just take the one off the old gate that'll work but this can go to the gate graveyard all these need to go to the scrap metal place eventually at some point Bri's just rung and she's free now so she's going to head out a little bit earlier than what we had booked in but that's fine. Here we go, into it. An off sink. Off sink her as well. Not a good start. Well, not a bad start either. They do have a follicle coming up. So they have a, a follicle over a centimetre. Oh yeah. Which is good. So they're not an obligatory per se. So they do have um, a follicular wave developing. They're getting ready to ovulate. But what this is going to do is it's just going to pull them right forward. Okay. So oh, so they would come on at some point. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but right. if you've got me here scanning, why wait? Might as yeah. well do it. Yeah, exactly. Cystic corpus luteum. It's going to keep releasing progesterone. Um, so she's not going to cycle unless we dissolve that. True. So that made it worth it already. Yeah, sweet. So she's a PG. Can you write CL cyst beside her as well? What do you want to what? No, uh, let her... Just put a P. Yep. P. PG will get rid of it. That's easy. Easy. She has a CL cyst as well. PG. Yep, PG. See, it's easy. Too much to do it. 
<laughs> There's not many options available. So she wouldn't have gotten, she, she would, or the likelihood for her to get in calf would have been pretty low. Like she might have cleared yeah. it, but. But it would have taken longer. It could have been outside our, our mating window. Essentially, her ovary is telling her body she's pregnant. So now we've got a good chance of getting that cow in calf. Yeah. On to the older cows now. So she probably will cycle, but we're gonna make her cycle quicker, earlier. It's a really nice cow. We wanna get a replacement from her, and if we didn't do this, then there might not be a chance, because she might not come on. She might come on after we put the bulls out, but we want a replacement, so this is this is why we're doing it. We're going to the trouble for this. Show a heap, but she'll get blanket inseminated with the offset cow. She's just more likely to hold than she would if she had an offset. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. So it gives you a better, better bang for buckets. It's more expensive, obviously. Yes. But again, like we've got the got the information. So we should. Oh, that didn't go in very well. Sweet. And that just sits there like that. Just sits in there like that. And then we'll pull that out in a week. Huh. Yep. All done, all checked. So the ones with the O's on them are off sync, which means it's sort of like a cedar program without the cedar. So we need to get them in another week to give them another jab, I think it is. The ones with the X's, they've actually got a cedar, so I've never done that before, but since we were going the whole hog, we might as well. There's three of them all in this herd, and the ones with the P on them have sort of had that cyst so they just got PG. There's one, two, three in here. Might be four. So, um, PG cows will come on from the 11th. One, two, three, four, five. It's two, Tuesday. Three, four, five. Wednesday. Six. Yep, so Wednesday to Sunday. I okay. got 11th to the 15th. Will likely be when they come on. 10% of PG cows won't come on, but we've scanned them all, so they should all have a heat. It might just be quite a quiet one. Okay. Again, because we're living for that generation of um, estrus, but yeah, hopefully better to get them get moving now yeah, yeah, yeah. than wait, because they'll get more chances anyway. Um, your of sync and your cedar cows are going to follow the same program. So if anything comes on heat, made it, the cedar cows won't. Yes. I can tell you that. Um, of syncs might. A couple of them might, but most of them probably won't. Um, won't come on heat. Until I come back. And get okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's why we're coming back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, yeah. So keep an eye on them, but if they do come on heat, just make them and take them out of the program. Okay. So heat is the, the end stage. Okay. So anytime anything's been obeyed, it doesn't need to come. Okay, doesn't easy, need to come easy. Back. Yep. So some of them might come on heat. Some of them might, yeah. Some of them, a yep. couple. All right. A couple. A couple of them have like a good... A good thick uterine wall and a nice big follicle there. Oh, like, I remember, yeah, yeah, I like remember you saying about, there yeah. might be a few that come on. Yeah, yes, but we don't know which away. follicular wave and that set of three that they're on, okay. so they might not be ready. Easy, to and then we don't need to jab them the second time. Exactly. I got, yeah, exactly. it's all making sense. Yeah, oh, it's all becoming clear now. <laughs> yeah. cool. Perfect timing. I'd actually run out. I did order some for last week, two weeks ago. But it never turned up and I sort of rung at the end of last week and I was like, oh, have you got an order? Because I haven't got any PK. And, and Brett from JDC said, oh, no, I haven't received anything. And, yeah, the order sort of got lost at the three agri feed somewhere in transit, which is all right. It's sweet as. I knew there was a truck coming today. I, I booked that in uh, because I knew I was going to run out. So everything's all good, but <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. The weather's changed a bit. It almost feels like it's going to rain. Wind's picked up. I've just had a notification though that one of these cows that we treated today, that one just there, she's on heat. So I'm not sure if she is on heat or because she's been standing in the yard. We'll see what she's like in the morning. If she's getting ridden then, then I'll do her and she can come off that program. It's actually cooled down heaps too. I had to go and put my jacket on. It was like this yesterday. It was real hot and then all of a sudden we got these massive big thunderstorms came through. We had a little bit of rain, but there was some massive forked lightning, which was which was quite cool. There was hail in places, we didn't get any. But I'll try and put into layman's terms, or the conclusion of what happened today, to try and make it simple to understand, because it was it was a little bit harder to, to sort of get the gist of it, but of the 21 cows we scanned, seven of them probably, or the likelihood of them getting in calf wasn't very high. Four of them had cysts. We fixed them with PG, they should come over, on over the next couple of days. Three of them weren't showing any signs of sort of coming on 
soon, so we put cedars in them. I didn't think we were going to cedar them, but they will get put up for AI in 10 days time regardless. The other ones on the program, they will get done, if they don't come on over the next 10 days, they will get done on the same day regardless as the ones with the cedars. So everything should get AI'd over the next 10 days. And that was sort of the whole point of, of scanning, was to see what was going on and fix a problem, which we have done. So the cedars were about 70 bucks a pop, I think which if you say like a milk solid's worth seven dollars and you get one more milk solid out of them it only takes 10 days to pay off and if those cows weren't gonna sort of come on till the fifth sixth seventh week of mating uh you can see how you easily easily pay them off it only takes 10 days to of more milk to to pay it off so hopefully that makes sense that pretty much will wrap it up guys but it's going to be interesting to see these cows obviously i'll keep a track of them and see how many get in calf and when they get in calf and if it sort of works we'll be able to do this next year but just the information the collars gave us we've got it so we might as well do something with it but give it a thumbs up that'd be awesome and see you next time